Hi, I'm Lisa Nelson, celebrity makeup artist, and today I am talking about darkening a light foundation. Now there's basically three options. If your foundation is too light for you, you've gotten a tan, the season has changed, you just happen to still have your same foundation, but it's too light. What you can do, you have three options. Basically, you can use a tinted moisturizer, and mix that with your foundation and that will darken it up a little bit. You could also use a darker powder over the top of that foundation in the spots where you need it and that will actually act to darken the foundation as well. One other option you could do is mix it with some bronzer. So you're going to have to do a little mixing at some point with the foundation in order to get it the way you'd like. So what I'm going to be doing on my model today is we actually opted to do some tinted moisturizer mixed with the foundation that's too light. So I have my little palette here. You, of course, could do this on the back of your hand. And we're using just a simple foundation brush for this. And you want to just start out minimally. And I like to use a foundation brush because I feel like the product isn't lost in the sponge. Sometimes with sponges, they tend to just soak up the product and you end up using a lot more than you normally would. I think sponges are great for blending, certainly, and getting a nice smooth texture, but the actual application process, I like to use a foundation brush. Now this was actually terribly light, like it would be super, maybe two shades too light for her, but because we mixed it with some bronzer, it's just darkening it up a little, and we're just working with her skin, kind of going out and down. You want to kind of wrap it around the jawline so you get a nice um, even application and no sign of demarcation here along the jaw. So this foundation is still a little bit light for her, so what I would advise in this case since we're wanting to darken it, is to just go with a little bit of a darker powder. So you could pick a powder that was one or two shades <laughs> darker, if we can get it out, hello, let's set this right here. And darker powder is great too because you can use it sort of as a contour. And I would start in the forehead and just bring that down through the T-zone. And we're actually patting it into the skin so that it sort of seals it and gives it that nice porcelain finish. The whole point with powder though is to absorb excess oil, so you wanna just make sure that you put enough on to do that, but not to make it look too heavy or um, chalky at all. You'll notice how that just gives it a nice, just a little bit more depth and darkness there. And she's going to look more healthy as opposed to just pale in, like she's in the wrong season here. Much better. Much better. So I'm Lisa Nelson, and that is how I would advise to darken a light foundation.